Hey sis, and happy new year to you. I'm so glad that you are joining me in the new year. We have some great, incredible things coming up for the new year, and I cannot wait to share. So before we really get into the devotion for today, because yes, I am going to continue the goodness in 2023 of sharing from my book. So before we do that, I want to remind you that I have the new year flash sale going on right now. Right now, you can get 23% off the books. That's the digital and paperback copy. Plus, you can get 23% off the journal. So now is a perfect time to buy for the new year. I know you want to get your hands on a good devotion to read for 2023. And this is it because it's going to take you through the entire year. And if you're on your healing journey, it's going to walk you through step by step. I want to remind you that you get 60 full days of dealing with the hurt and then you go into growing with God and then you go into finding yourself again and I'm telling you it's just so good and perhaps by that point you might be ready to date again maybe maybe not but we go into preparing for future relationships and then this month we're actually going to read from part five which is gaining wisdom and I'm super excited about that one I'll explain in a minute but don't forget go to my website candaceabaddies.com grab your copy today is the last day it started yesterday which is New Year's Day I announced it last week and use the promo code new 23 at checkout to get 23 percent off your purchase okay So that's new23 is the promo code and get 23% off the books, digital or paperback copy and the journal. Don't miss it because it ends tonight at midnight. So thank you guys so much for showing up again today because last week I needed a little R&R y'all. No lie, like I had to recoup and honestly it wasn't enough time to recoup, but 2022 was something serious and I it was so, it was such a good year, but it had its own set of challenges throughout the year because you cannot grow without some resistance, without some challenges. And so it was such an incredible year. I achieved all of my goals, which is amazing in itself. And I'm just excited to see what God is going to do this year with what was produced last year. So Let's get into today's devotion. So like I said, we're going to be reading from part five of the book. So y'all, I want to tell y'all, I almost skipped this part of the book because it's a small part of the book. I want to say it's only about 13 or so, 13 or 14 devotions in this section. It's the smallest part of the book. And I was about to skip it because the new year, I wanted to go straight into purpose. But my spirit was like, No, you need to do gaining wisdom for January. And, you know, as I thought about it and meditated on it, it was like, you know, you're right. Like, this is actually like a very key part of your journey, becoming wise and not like with worldly wisdom, but with godly wisdom. And so I'm really excited to be reading from this section of the book today because I think I probably overlooked it a lot during the process because it's such a small part, like I said, but it is such a rich part. And as I was going through and reading and picking out the devotions to read for you guys this month, I was like, oh yeah, I'm so glad I didn't skip over this and you will be too. So let's go ahead and get into it. Today I'll be reading day 255 from my book, Goodbye Heartbreak, Hello Purpose, a 365-day devotional. The title, Becoming Wise, Part 1. The scripture reference, Proverbs chapter 9, verse 10, NLT. And it reads, Fear of the Lord is the foundation of wisdom. Knowledge of the Holy One results in good judgment. From here on out, you want to be sure that you are making wise decisions. You cannot guarantee yourself that you'll never experience heartbreak again. Oh, how I wish we could. But you want to do your best to prevent it if you can. Wisdom certainly helps with this. However, we don't just become wise because we want to be wise. It begins with the decision to commit to the ongoing process of gaining wisdom. Then we must take the necessary steps. It's a journey. In Proverbs, Solomon says, Fear of the Lord is the foundation of wisdom. Before we build anything, we must first have a strong foundation. If we don't have a strong foundation, we will be weak and double-minded. We will have a difficult time making decisions because we lack godly wisdom. 
then we'll have a lot of what if questions and no clarity. Also, without the fear of the Lord, whatever knowledge we gain, we will likely produce selfishness and pride. And we know that pride leads to destruction. Proverbs 16 and 18. Therefore, we need a strong foundation. I know it's confusing for some people when they hear the phrase fear God. But fearing God does not mean we are afraid of him. It means we reverence him. We admire him. We're in awe of him. However, we cannot admire or be in awe of someone we know nothing about. Imagine being in a relationship with someone you know nothing about and you don't take the time to get to know them. The person could truly be amazing, but you would never know because you didn't take the time to learn about them. The same is true in our relationship with God. Tomorrow we'll talk about how to get to know God and how that produces wisdom. Declare. Today, I make the decision to become a wise woman. I am building a strong foundation of wisdom by fearing the Lord. I commit to the journey of gaining wisdom by reading God's word and getting to know who he is. Sis, I hope you enjoyed today's devotion. I really did. And if you want part two of Becoming Wise, make sure you grab a copy of my book, Goodbye Heartbreak, Hello Purpose, a 365-day devotional. Don't forget you have until midnight tonight to get 23% off of the book. Just use the promo code NEW23 at checkout to get your 23% off. It's the perfect time to get started with a new devotional for the new year, especially if you're going through heartbreak and dealing with a breakup, looking for a way to move forward. This is the perfect guide for you. And if you're new here and you want to know more about my books, just go through the different episodes. All of them that are labeled mini-sodes are typically a devotion from the book. So go ahead, listen to a few more episodes if you're new here and decide whether or not this book is right for you so that you can get your copy by midnight tonight so that you can get your 23% discount. All right. I love y'all and I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye, sis.